Okay, finally we've come to step four of solving the last layer of the Rubik's Cube. Again, uh, this, this, uh, this, uh, this step has its own algorithm, uh, not the same as the, pre uh, the other previous three steps, but you'll only have to perform this algorithm once or twice depending on which case there is. Now there are only two cases in this step. You'll either see uh, oh, by the way, this step is to solve the edges of the last layer, in case you didn't know that. Um, now, again, there are only two cases for this step. You'll either see that uh, one edge is solved while the rest of them aren't, or you'll see that just none of them are solved. And then the obvious case where all of the edges are solved and you'll have a solved Rubik's Cube. But this isn't the case. So what you want to do is you want to... Um, make it so that you rotate, the, you look around the cube and see if you can find a solved edge. If you can, then that's good. After that, you point, uh, you hold the cube so that the solved edge is on the opposite side of you, so that it's like this. Now this is where the algorithm comes in. Once you perform this algorithm, the entire cube will become solved. So in order to solve the cube, uh, what you do is you perform a 180 degree turn of the front face, so 2F, and then this, and then um, look at the um, cor and then look at the uh, colors of the edge pieces, of the side edge pieces with yellow on them. Not this one. Just leave this one alone. But these two. Look at the colors and determine which color matches up the uh, center facing you. In this case, blue is facing me, so I'm looking for the blue color the edge with the blue color. This one has a red color, so that one doesn't work. This one has a blue color, so it does work. Po point, uh, so that means move the up face so that blue matches up with blue. Then bring both faces down so that you have a white on one side and a yellow on the other side of the front face. Perform another 180 degree turn of the front face. Bring both back up. Bring both sides back up and uh, turn the up face so that the white horizontal bar on the end is facing you, perform a another 180 degree turn, and there, the cube is now solved. Now, if you get a case in which uh, you find that all four of the edges aren't solved, no big deal, just perform the algorithm again, uh, just perform the algorithm a second time, and you'll get one of the solved edges, and then just uh, perform the algorithm again like normal. Okay, if you have followed throughout all of the videos, you'll see the tutorial is complete, because now you have solved your very own 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. I'm glad that you decided to uh, follow along with this tutorial. I'm happy that you now are a puzzle enthusiast because of uh, this tutorial. I'm happy that you now know how to solve one of the most difficult puzzles to solve in the entire world. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, listening and viewing this tutorial. I'm Time Machine Maker, and I'll see you next time.